President Muhammadu Buhari regarding the 2019 elections. Now, President Muhammadu Buhari yesterday assured the British Prime Minister Theresa May that he was all out to ensure free, fair and credible elections in 2019. He said he was pleased that his party, the APC, was doing well. The special advisor to the President on media and publicity, Mr Femi Adeshino, disclosed this in a statement made available to journalists shortly after Buhari held a closed-door meeting with May at the presidential villa in Abuja. The president welcomed the United Kingdom's support aimed at strengthening democratic institutions in Nigeria. He said, quote unquote, I assure you that I am all out for free, fair and credible elections. I am very pleased that my party is doing very well. The High Commissioner will brief you more. The recent successes in polls in Katsina, Bauchi and Kogi have boosted our morale greatly. Nigeria has accepted multi-party democracy and that is putting politicians on their toes, forcing them to work harder. Buhari also applauded the British, prime, the British support sorry, for his administration's ongoing anti-corruption campaign. Chukudi, there's some key words in this report that were clicking in my head as I was reading this, and I'm going to go back to them in a second. But let's start with the fact that the entire aim here is, the in, sorry, is in terms of the support of democratic institutions in Nigeria. I mean, when Auntie Teresa comes around, or Uncle Trump, or Uncle Don, let's call him Uncle Don, <laughs> because he's, there's nothing done out about it, Uncle Don. He's, he's like a Don. When people like, you know, uh, um, young Uncle Ima, Emmanuel Macron, you know, he's not really an uncle like that. Young Uncle Ima, Auntie Tete, Teresa, <laughs> Uncle Don. When you meet with such people, you try to convince them that you are doing, you know, something right. Uh, I mean, former president, good luck, Billy Jonathan, also tried. Um, for free election, this is what we are doing. We are trying our best. You see, at the core of democracy is popular participation. And how do people participate popularly in the electoral, sorry, in the democratic process? One, they are free to express themselves. So you have freedom of expression. And two, they are free to exercise their right to franchise or suffrage, that is, coming out to vote on election day for your preferred candidate or standing or placing yourself, you understand, through the platform provided by a political party to be voted for. Now, it is not in our place to try to emphasize or convince anybody. It is for us to strengthen our institutions and let it be clear so that everyone can see. I am very certain that if you meet a lot of Nigerians today, some people will still tell you when it comes to election in Nigeria, certain people already know who would win. Mm. They would do their wururu, they would select their, their own candidates, they would impose people. Now, what we must do is not try to convince Theresa May that we are for free and fair election. It is to show that we are for free and fair election. Look at the embarrassing situation that happened in Ekiti State. It was characterized by vote buying. People publicly, publicly, you know, there was a video recording of people going to a particular location to, to, to get money so that they would vote. It, the government also, the Ekiti State government of the People's Democratic Party, it was reported that, you know, sent out alerts, credit alerts, and you... put it... Uh, stipends. And nothing has still been done about nothing that. Nothing has been done because the Independent National Electoral Commission they cannot, they, no, they cannot investigate. By law, you cannot do the work of the Nigeria Police Force. Mm. Those, the agencies that are responsible should go all out and do it. Now, when we come out and say we are for free and fair elections, there are instances. You are citing Casina, you are citing Kogi, and you are Bauchi. citing Bauchi. Bauchi, you are citing Rivers that they were by elections. We have just given you one that it was clear. It was clear. There is a video recording. We haven't punished and anybody. Nobody has been arrested. That. Nobody has been investigated. Now what they will do is they will just look at you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You are for. You are for. You are for. But we are seeing example. But don't worry. You are for. You are the one telling us. You are for. You are for. So it's not about mounting and rhetoric saying this is what we are for. Let us set examples. It is clear that the major political parties in Nigeria today are desperate to perpetuate themselves in power and will do anything. You cannot be owing salaries for seven months and on the eve of election, you are sending out alerts. It was widely reported, these people paid 4,000, these people paid 5,000. Is that the level that we have sung to? That's so it's not just about level. saying it. Let us see action and get the relevant agencies to act so that INEC as an institution will be one that Nigerians can look up to and say, yes, indeed, our votes will count. To enjoy more of this, our Ugon get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.